The CAS report has detailed what many of us have been warning for some time. NHS JID services have comprehensively failed vulnerable children and young people. First Do No Harm was ignored, and instead activists were given free reign to promote a treatment pathway which encouraged young people to embark on life-changing medical and surgical treatments. And I quote, The systematic review showed no clear evidence that social transition in childhood has any positive or negative mental health outcomes and relatively weak evidence for any effect in adolescence. However, those who had socially transitioned at an early age and or prior to being seen in clinic were more likely to proceed to a medical pathway. There were so many red flags. The rise in young women questioning their gender identity. The fact that 10 whistleblowers raised serious concerns about the rush to transition children and young people. The fact that decisions were being made on the basis of next to no evidence. Women's Rights Network founder Heather Binning says, We cannot undo the harm which has been done to a generation of troubled young people, but we can and we must ensure that it stops now. We must ask why so many girls are finding puberty distressing. This is not new. Conditions such as anorexia and self-harm also increase at this time and can be driven by social media and contagion in friendship groups. But the scale of distress around gender and the rush to provide a medical solution to challenges around puberty is a relatively recent phenomenon. Dr Cass has highlighted the increasingly toxic, ideological and polarised public debate. But let's not forget that Stonewall and other charities which have promoted this ideology demanded no debate and acceptance without exception. And I quote, The University of York's programme of work has shown that there continues to be a lack of high quality evidence in this area. And disappointingly, as will become clear in this report, attempts to improve the evidence base has been thwarted by a lack of cooperation from the adult gender services. Heather Binning says, when you can see a medical scandal unfolding in front of your eyes and nobody appears to be listening, it is incredibly frustrating. The passion expressed by many of those who have raised concerns is both understandable and proportionate. However, it is also important to remember that at the heart of this scandal are vulnerable young people and families who want nothing but the best for their children. For some, the CAS report will be challenging. They need and deserve support and compassion. The recommendations Dr Cass has outlined in her report must be implemented as a matter of urgency. We also call for removal of the term transgender child from all health literature. Banning the use of affirmative care in any health guideline or protocol. Restricting and monitoring the prescribing of puberty blockers both in primary and secondary care. The Royal College of Paediatrics to put out a firm statement in support of the findings of the CAS report. Withdrawal of the Memorandum of Understanding on Conversion Therapy in the UK, which conflates psychological therapy with conversion therapy. A ban on social transitioning of a child in the absence of a full health multidisciplinary team, MDT, discussion. No child should be prescribed cross-sex hormones outside of a tightly controlled clinical trial. Closer monitoring of prescribing data to identify GPs in both NHS and private practice who are prescribing puberty blockers under exceptional circumstances. A Charity Commission investigation of Mermaids, Stonewall and other charities which promoted gender-affirming care. Removal of references to mermaids, Stonewall and other charities which promote gender ideology from all NHS, Department of Education and school websites across the UK. A ban on breast binding. It should be seen as a form of breast ironing, a criminal offence. 